there welcome back and thanks for joining me all my supplies and equipment are in the description box in my amazon store also if you like this video hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified when new videos come out hit that notification bell and likes comments and questions all right he's welcome okay boo boo so you see where it's kind of ridgy and all this stuff it's moisture this one i blew a little faster with less alcohol it worked out okay so i don't know if i'm just leaving it too long or what but didn't like this one like this one so just wanted to show you that so be aware um i'm gonna try less alcohol maybe maybe that's it maybe it's just the moisture also i noticed the more i work the more i play the less the moisture is so maybe i'm getting my little area not as bad i don't know if it works like that so, anyhow, let's go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm going with it. We'll <laughs> just we'll see. Maybe it'll turn out good. I kind of wanted that in a little bigger though, but I'll make this one. See if lower will help. You have to work it a little less if you turn it down. Okay, we're going with that. <laughs> I might end up liking it right now I'm a little torn okay so what I want to do and I'm using the back of what I didn't like oh, I need to get my sap green and get 
some water. Okay, I have got not a very long fine one, but then I've got a round. It's number six. So those are the ones I'm going to use. I've got my water, I've got my sap green. And you know, I don't know if I'm going to use a brush or I want to use my catalyst. Huh. Okay, there's my catalyst. There's a brush. I don't know which one I'm going to use. So, let's put the lines in first. Okay, so this one's bigger, so it needs to be a main one. So I'm just going to come through like that. This one, I'm going to come off of it. And this one. Can be on its own. Okay, those aren't great, but I kind of like them. I like it when it's not always perfect. Um, <clears throat> you know, I think I'm going to do my catalyst. And I don't know where my other is. So I'm going to use this big one I haven't used in a while. Let's see. You gotta love it when they go wonky on you because I, I scooted. They're a little harder to push than to pull, but if I turned it upside down, I, I think I would lose. So I'm, I'm going to go with what I've got because I'm kind of liking it. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. So I want to get my airbrush and we'll make some squigglies now. I'm using this guy. This is model TC320. Whoops. <laughs> this is my master's. It's a master's. I love it. It's got your moisture catcher here, a dial. Here's your thing you operate the dial with, holders for two. And it sits on the floor and it does really good. Hi, Henry. Henry's here. Hi, Henry. Well, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, my hose came loose. It's like, why is it just running? Um, okay. So I'm going to take the stylist. And... Put something at the base like this. I don't 
don't know why I like these so well. It's the first time I've done roses like this as doing them like, you know, on stems or something. So this has been interesting. And of course when you're doing yours, gosh, get in here and play. I like that. Now, here is what I'm wanting to do. I want a splatter. And I don't know if I can match this pink. That's pretty close. Are these the same? Yeah, they're the same. Oh, that's going to be close enough. So, yeah, I'm kind of liking that. I don't like how this brush splatters, but put less paint on it, and I'll do a little bit better. Of a rough start, but I'm liking how it turned out. If nothing else, it shows some different ways of doing things. So, hey, get out there, experiment, and y'all go have fun. <laughs>